So is it different living with somebody from the Philippines or being married to somebody from the Philippines compared to the UK? Um, the first thing I want to say is this is my personal experience as such. It's not a viewpoint, it's not generalization, it's my own experiences. Now, the first thing I will say is my wife is very supportive of anything I do, um, which previous partners were okay as long as the cash keeps flowing. So, for example, when I had a furniture business, um, they were quite happy to spend the money, etc. But did they want to do the hours in the shop? Not one. Um, would my wife? The answer is yes. She would pull her weight, and she has done in the past. And it, not just my wife, my mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, all contribute to any projects and get involved in, and don't ask for nothing. Um, my previous ex, um, I try not to run her down too much. Ex-partner, by the way, not ex-wife, because I've only ever been married once. Um, I wasn't actually ever going to get married, which shows you how good my marriage relationship is. Um, but the my ex-partner, I used to have these things like Avon would knock the door on a Friday afternoon. I've just got home, um, been on a long, long day. I uh, can only do a 16-hour day. Um, and you open the door and you... 98 quid, no, you know, 98 pounds. Uh, for what? Oh, you, your girlfriend's ordered this one. You know, you like all these products that, for me, ah oh well. It's up to her what she does with her money. It's what she was doing with my money, which was bothering me. <laughs> but then she had horses. I only want to work part time because she wants to spend more time with the horses, etc. Different mentality. My wife wants to spend more time with the kids. My wife wants me to be at home more. This is where there is a lot of conflict in the Philippines relating to Western employees, uh, employers with Filipinos that disappear. It's often family in the background. They are wanting them more at home. I've got stuff that they need doing in the home. And the commitment to work isn't as important as the family. Um, in the West, that seems absolute madness. But that's the way it is. It's a cultural thing, but also in some ways it's correct because what you find with companies these days, I mean, in the UK, I've seen it so many times, um, companies are treating people like slaves. Okay, they do pay them, um, but it's like you get paid for, say, a 37 and a half hour week, and then they'll say you have to be flexible, so you end up working 55, 60 hours with the other hours being free if you're on a salary. That is the company's. So they're basically asking for two employees out of one and only paying for one. Um, that is what is becoming the norm. Um, so project-wise, my wife would always support whatever I do. The home is my wife's domain. Now, some people are, oh, you only want a subservient wife. and all that. No, my wife is quite happy to look after the house. The hard bit in life um, can often be actually making the money. Um, so from different perspectives, it's how you look at it. Because if you're looking after the home, looking after the kids, etc., you have a fixed pattern. Um, finding work and stuff can be a bit more difficult. Generating work as a small business can be difficult. Um, so it's all on perspective. It's nothing to do with women's rights or anything else. My wife can do whatever she wants. No, It's up to her what she wants to do. Nobody's stopping her doing anything. So bear that in mind. My ex worked part-time and then reduced the part-time hours so she could spend more time with the horses, which meant the strain of earning more money went on me. Um, but in a normal... Um, I can't even say normal, that's unfair. Um, in a relationship that didn't involve having horses as pets for riding around and uh, um, the stable costs, the field costs, etc., living well above means, um, then there wouldn't have been such a burden. But the cost of all those expenses become my expenses because she generates these things. Um, 
like getting a horse in the first place, she was told that if she wanted a horse, the first thing she needed to do was learn to drive because there's no fields near where we live, which then adds another burden of transportation for me that is already working a lot of hours to commute to wherever she needs. My wife would never even ask for any of that sort of stuff. Um, I'm doing a school run at the moment here in Spain, but it's more to do with the integration of Spanish life. It's not to do with, we must, you know, my wife can't drive here until all the residency is done. Once the residency is done, she will be learning how to drive. There's a complete, she don't go, oh, you know what, I fancy doing horse riding, can you buy me a horse? Um, my wife's practical. And this is where some of these things separate, and that's where some stuff can become rather general. Um, because in the UK it's very common to live above people's means and a lot of this stuff people practically do not need. They just do it because keeping up with the Joneses or putting hobbies to um, hobbies and debt above necessities. Um, so from that point, I found my wife is very... Um, I leap forward in many ways. And like I said, it's not knocking my ex in being X, Y, Z. But simply, many of the things are the same for a lot of relationships in the UK. Um, to the point that my sister's had some financial problems um, relating to partners. Um, she's had, like, people that don't want to work, refuse to work, etc., um, she's she's happily married with a nice guy now, but it's pretty common. It's people run up these debts and create issues for you, um, or even it, when I say debts, I'm not on about the fact that you can't pay them, but I mean like the Avon Friday night just got home is under quid out your pocket. You haven't even got through the front door. You know it's it's expenses that aren't even yours. That's that's where the problems come from. But I think this is where a lot of the arguments are in the UK. It's people um, buying stuff they don't need but can't afford. And then there's all this constant fighting. Yet a more simplified life, A, means you've got more money in your pocket because you're giving away at least 30% of your income per year to creditors of some description. Um, we're quite happy. We, we don't have any disputes or arguments. You know, me and my wife don't argue um, my wife loves cooking and stuff my ex used to ask me to phone her when I got home and because she didn't like going to an empty house which meant I cooked my own dinners most days um, bearing in mind I used to work a six to seven day week so most of the time my life revolved around work um, and my daughter because uh, I'm not going into relationship too much but there was a final straw relating to the horses <laughs> Uh, but from why things work really well with my wife is the first thing is I'm very constructive business wise um, I, some people that's I can't understand your business model blah 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 you don't have to because I don't put everything online and there's a deal I'm working on at the moment which could potentially be about three to five years income um, they could go through within a couple of months. Um, <coughs> so not everything goes online. And the reason it's not shared is A, confidentiality, but also a lot of it, people would not understand what I'm doing anyway. But let's just put it this way. There's some packages put forward business-wise that could advance quite a large company uh, in a good way. Um my wife will support the business stuff. My ex would happily spend money, but not really put that same sort of, the same sort of input. But also, my wife sees that the responsibilities of business, etc. Um, she sees that I'm working hard. She sees I'm creating a future for the kids. She sees I'm creating a future for her, etc. I never had any of that with a Western woman. The the ones I've had relationships with um, don't visualize that way. It may sound a bit judgmental in that way, but it, they wouldn't actually turn around and say to you, I see how hard you're working, etc. 
my wife does, but other people haven't. You know, other relationships haven't. I think things are too too based on consumerism and orientation around money, um, having the new car, keeping up with the Joneses, all that sort of rubbish. Coming home on a Friday night to find that you you partly stripped the dining room and asked if you can wallpaper it this weekend, even though she knows you've already done a hundred hours that week. Um, that was normal life. <laughs> now we've got a problem with the damp here at the moment, and if it, they don't sort it here soon, we will actually move house. Um, not because my wife's complaining, but the fact is, it should have been sorted months ago and manana manana is getting to me at the moment because they don't do what they're told they don't um but like i said it's not my wife in the uk my ex would be grumbling like mad about that um but my wife is like we need to get it fixed but we know it's to do with the uh, prison of the housing whatever it is they're supposed to deal with it but they don't like spending money. Um, all these problems are caused with the air con issues that we, that the guy upstairs had. But that's what I'm saying. You don't get any grumbling. My wife doesn't grumble about anything. It's not that she's um, subservient or anything like that. Because if I was going out on a night out, my wife puts it forward in a diplomatic manner. For example, um, going out for a drink with some friends in the Philippines. My wife said, well, I should take somebody with me or whatever and they're like oh, I can't be bothered you know and it's like no no last time you went out you fell off the back of a bus and you know I don't want to be sat here worried all night because I know what you got up to last time it's done very diplomatic there's none of this arguing stuff that goes on it's all like look be sensible about this have think about this and this is why things work because you say okay well fair enough um, if people are going to be worried about me I'll either not bother going or I'll take my brother-in-law or something um because he won't be allowed to have a have a drink if he's driving anyway because if he did he'd get aggro off everybody <laughs> um but <coughs> it's just the way things are um i know a lot of expats have experienced the same thing um but like i said i'm not trying to generalize because it's not a case of i had terrible relationships with my exes before the last one was no problem. The one before that was a nightmare. But the I was with my ex before I, I separated and went off my own for 11 years. Um, the one prior to that, seven years. But the whole point is, I didn't, I've never had the horror stories that some people have. I've just had the typical Western experience that often you just fall out of a relationship it you, it devalues itself over a period of time because everything becomes superficial everything becomes monetary everything becomes consumerist and you just sort of lose interest in it um that's my view yeah.